Hey everyone, welcome into the Outflip and Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star the Flippin' Hippo. Today is October the 1st, 2020, which means today is the first official day of Q4. I hope you all are ready for Q4. If you're not, <laughs> we're going to go over a couple of tips that I've been talking about for the last couple of months to get us all prepared for Q4. I started talking about it in August uh, just to give everyone plenty of time, two months worth of time to get ready. One of the biggest things that I wanted everyone to do before Q4 hit was to learn how to utilize your to-do lists and your routines each and every day so that you had a good work schedule and a good routine in place for when Q4 really hits. Um, if this Q4 is like other Q4s, again, 2020 is a weird year and we don't know what's in store for us. Personally, I feel this Q4 is going to be really good for online sellers. Um, the economy is probably not as great as it was last year or the year before, but there's still a lot of places that aren't open at maximum capacity around the country. A lot of stores are limited on how many people are allowed in. There's still a lot of places that are requiring masks to be worn. And folks are still a little bit nervous to go out and go shopping and be in crowds and uh, just around a lot of people in big groups. So I think people are going to be shopping online a lot more this year than ever before. So I think that's going to balance out. Um, the fact that our economy is kind of not that great right now. You guys know that there's still a lot of people um, trying to recover from the shutdown, from being out of work, from working from home. Um, but I think that a lot of folks were on unemployment um, and had other ways to keep themselves afloat during that time. So I don't feel like anyone isn't going to be shopping for the holiday season. It's not like the whole country is gonna shut down and not shop. But I do feel like a lot of folks aren't gonna be going out into the world. They're gonna rely on shopping from home. And that leaves us resellers the opportunity to sell more online. And years past, even with Black Friday and blowout sales and the ability to go out shopping like like we used to do before 2020, um, Q4 was still a really good time of year for everyone and even used um, clothing resellers. I get that question a lot. Um, well, how is Q4 good for used clothing sellers when folks are online shopping for gifts? Well, not everyone buys new for gifts. There are plenty of families out there who buy um, clothing for their kids or clothing as gifts that is used and it's acceptable. A lot more people in the world today are moving towards being sustainable and thrifting. And actually, from what I understand, thrifting and wearing used clothing right now is the end thing to do. It's hip. <laughs> um, it is sustainable. People are trying to be more economically friendly and save the planet. And some people um, just don't have the money to buy stuff new. If you have a teenage daughter who has always wanted a pair of, you know, Miss Me jeans or diesel jeans or Hudson jeans or any of these jeans that are like 200 bucks new retail, they might be okay with their mom going online and spending 50 bucks on a used pair that's in um, excellent used condition and, and presenting them as a gift at Christmas um, or over the holidays. So there are folks who actually do buy used clothing to give as gifts, especially the luxury brands like Louis Vuitton shoes. If you have any of those um, really good luxury brands, I guarantee you those are going to sell. Um, but even like the higher, higher end bread and butters, the really good bolos that aren't luxury brands, they're still expensive retail. And I think this year more than ever, people are going to be looking for a deal and they, they're they going to be looking to um, spend less money on the things their loved ones want. And I don't, again, I don't think used clothing or thrifting or secondhand stuff is a stigma anymore. I really think it's popular. So used clothing will sell. And in addition to that, let me add, um, a lot of people get gift cards or money for Christmas from their family that's out of town, from relatives, from friends. 
and they treat themselves. And so if you have always wanted, you know, a Robert Graham shirt, but you could never afford one new in the store, but someone gives you 50 bucks for Christmas, you might go on eBay and find a used one that you really like and purchase it. So people are also spending their money that they're getting as gifts. So even used clothing sellers will do really well in Q4. If I have to keep adding that, that asterisk, um, if 2020 is like years past, um, I think everyone does better in Q4. Everything sells more. I've talked about the magic of Q4 on this channel before. Um, it's almost like the, there's a switch that's flipped and people just pull their wallets out, open them up and throw their money at, at online sellers. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you've been listening to me the last two months and doing all the things I've been I've been encouraging you and teaching you to do to get ready for the season. And like I said, the number one most important thing is that you've implemented routines. When you get busier, when you're pulling more items and prepping them for shipment than you normally do, that's gonna take up extra time. When you have good routines in place, you're not gonna get frazzled, you're not gonna get overwhelmed, you're just gonna work your way through your routine, you're gonna work your way through your to-do list every day. And to-do lists should always be written from most important to least important, so that if you don't have time to get through each item, um, you've done the most important ones. And you can forgive yourself, especially during Q4, if you don't get all the way to the bottom every day. There's gonna be days where you just don't. If you have, um, you know, if you typically have 10 sales a day and you're suddenly having 20 and 25 on some days, you're not used to that. And it may take you a little bit more time to get your shipping ready, and that's fine. Um, if you don't get to everything on your list, just make sure that you've listed it most important to least important and include everything for your business as well as everything you need to get done for your family, your friends and yourself. Um, and just work your way through it and be patient with yourself. Don't don't uh, get upset if you don't get through your list. You might not. Everyone might get really busy. Um, I've also talked a lot about prepping a really good shipping area, a very organized area. Hopefully you've done that because uh, the only thing worse than not having everything at hand and organized when you're packing shipping, when you have more shipping than usual, um, is not being able to find items or wasting time digging for items. And that's the, the, uh, the next tip. Um, I've been telling you all to put an inventory system in place. So hopefully you've done that. It is only October 1st and it is Thursday. So if you haven't set up a really great organized shipping area with all the things that you use most often from tape to boxes to poly bags, um, do that this weekend. Get yourself set up so that you can bring your items in and just like a, an assembly line, get them all out the door. And make sure you have a very organized inventory system in place. You want to be able to look at the item that's sold and see in the SKU line where its location is in the system that you're using and go pull it. You don't want to waste time looking for items. You don't want to be stressed out during the holidays having to write buyers that you can't find their item. Um, I've also told you guys to list extra the last couple of months leading into Q4 so that your overall listings are higher because the more listings you have the, the bigger net you're casting out there for your buyers so keep that momentum going if you can just keep listing if you're selling more you're going to have to list more to replace what items you sold to keep your total um, amount of active listings up so keep that momentum in place and double check your keywords on all of your listings that have anything to do with the holidays you know, add the keyword Halloween to scrub tops that are themed. Add the word Christmas or ugly sweater to sweaters that are themed. You can add the word gift, idea, gift, set, present, anything like that. Just double check any of those listings that I just talked about raising your prices on and make sure you have keywords in the title that will um, help your buyers find those items as they look for them. And the last tip I have is just remember this year may be different. So if you've never been through a Q4 before, I'm sure you've heard the hype from all of the resellers that Q4 is the most wonderful time of the year. I don't know that it will be, but I have hopes. I have theories. I really do think a lot more people are going to be shopping online this year than ever before, just because of um, C19 and 
it just people aren't going to be out and about the way they always were before. Um, if you have been through a Q4 before and this one isn't as great and is kind of a little bit of a letdown, just be patient with this Q4 and the end of 2020. Um, this has been a very unprecedented year for a lot of reasons. We have the election coming up next month. We have um, a lot of stuff going on with the political climate, the social climate. But I really think we're, we're going to be okay if we just keep keep on keeping on. Make sure you're listing every day and staying active. And that you have the items that folks are looking for made easy, easily found for them with your keywords and such. All right, guys, any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up before you leave. It really helps the channel. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe. Help us feed a hungry hippo. And don't forget to join our Facebook group. It's called Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod, free to join. It's a really great community. There's a list in the box down below for you. Or you can just search for Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod on Facebook. Until next time, guys, go make sure that you are ready for Q4. You've got all these things implemented so that you can uh, continue being productive and make money. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. You guys are the best. Bye.